About mid-2021, a new first-person shooter was announced called Crows. They released a trailer that appeared to portray a gritty, realistic shooter while also previewing some sort of gas mechanics that would be present in the game. Since then, they've offered several beta periods, and right now, one is going on this lasting a week. So I'll link the game down below if you see this video and want to try it out while it's still available. But throughout their marketing campaigns, they've released some, uh, less than gritty marketing materials. Yeah, that, uh, that makes me uncomfortable. But I've been excited to see how this game progresses nonetheless. I'm always up for some first-person shooter action with modern military rifles, so I've been trying to follow this game as it develops. And since trying out this beta, unfortunately, I'm fairly disappointed. They haven't optimized this game yet. This is Blood Zone, their domination-style game mode, and it runs. Sort of. It doesn't look good. You'd think by the third beta this thing would be smoothed out, but it's absolutely unplayable unless you're sniping maybe 100 to 200 meters away from the action. That's really unfortunate, because I think this game mode could be a lot of fun, especially if it's free, but you just can't play it, so they've got a lot of work to do on that front. But even if I overlook that, I'm still not sure how I feel about this game, honestly. On one hand, they're somewhat ahead of their time when it comes to this game design, but on the other hand, they've got some mechanics that have a feeling that just screams mobile game. So let's start with what I mean by ahead of its time. There are a couple different game modes for players, and as a free-to-play game, it's good that they're offering these two. First, the domination-style game mode that I mentioned. It offers a shoot, die, rinse, repeat method of gaming, a fast and casual method that can be a lot of fun when it runs great, I think, anyway. With this is also some weapon customization that seems pretty standard. It's obviously loosely modeled off of Modern Warfare's, but it does get the job done. The other game mode is their rendition on a Battle Royale style game mode, really it's an extraction game mode. You go around the map, collect gas with miners, and then you extract when you've got enough to call in the helicopter. Or you can always extract when another squad calls in a helicopter and you just hijack that helicopter. I was really excited to get my hands on this game mode to see how it played out. Extraction game modes, in my opinion, are going to be the next big wave in gaming. Battle Royales where you're the last man standing can be good still, but if it's true that the upcoming Modern Warfare game is going to offer that extraction style game mode, that'll really kickstart the genre even more. So with that said, I think Crows was on to something here. However, they fall short in a lot of ways. From what I've played, the perfect example of an extraction game mode right now is Hunt Showdown. <laughs> You load in, get the loot, and then you extract with the loot. The bounties you collect or the weapons that you pick up are yours to take to the next raid. Your extraction is meaningful. Your loot has purpose. And most importantly, you get to choose your loadout before loading into the map. Everything you do has a purpose, and you're rewarded for what you've done in the match and what you've extracted with. But in this scenario, as far as I can tell, it really doesn't matter. At least that's what it appears to be. I see at the main menu here, there is a Q on currency, but we're not really sure what that's used for at the moment. So maybe that helps you choose your loadouts when you're playing squad ops, or you essentially have to spend that to pick your desired loadout with attachments. I don't really know how it works at this point, but if that Q on that you extract is meaningful and adds to your supply, that would just make a lot more sense. But from what I see here in the beta build, it doesn't matter if you extract with a thousand or a hundred thousand Q on. It only matters and can give you an advantage in the map with what you can call in. Which I will say is a nice feature. The fact that you can complete objectives to call in certain strikes or resources is pretty great. This is a great way to implement a more objective-based approach into the extraction modes, but the end game is still very dry. That's pretty much the reason why Battlefield's Hazard Zone is such a dry experience as well. The end is just pointless. There's no reason to play that game mode. So this is the area that I really hope they narrow in on. I hope this gets tweaked to really give more of a purpose to the game mode. Graphically, the game looks fine, lighting looks good, the environment looks fair, but the sounds are an area that needs some work. Locational footsteps especially are very difficult to track, and most weapon sounds leave a lot to be desired. To me, some of the sounds are almost like they grabbed them from a mobile game and ported them over and then added some bass for the game. Reloading. Now let's move on to probably the biggest gripe when it comes to gameplay. The movement. The movement, man, the movement. The animations are fairly decent. First person and third person are okay, but I gotta say the speed of the movement, particularly the lateral movement, is a little ridiculous. Absolutely zero penalty for side to side movement, and it's unusually quick for a game like this. There were times I felt like I was playing something like Apex Legends with how quick everyone was moving, and if I'm playing a modern day war game, Apex Legends is not where I wanna be. It makes it incredibly difficult to track targets in a game like this, and I believe with the games that I enjoy that this sort of removes the immersion from the experience. So for me personally, that was just a little bit too much. 
And then finally, there are some general things like not being able to get steady frames or all the minor bugs or balancing or weapons. I'm really not focused on those things right now. That balancing and those changes can come because it's a beta. I care more about the general gameplay design and the end game when it comes to these type of betas, and this one seems to have gotten it almost right. But sadly, I think this is going to end up along the lines of Ring of Elysium. Why would I play this instead of Warzone? Why would I play this domination style game mode when I could play World War 3 that's free to play here in a month? There's just not a whole lot of draw to this game right now. It just feels generic, sadly. It feels like, again, they're on the right track, but it, it isn't anything special. So what could the game do to reach a larger audience while also being more fun? In my opinion, slower movements with a more realistic feeling to the game. That's the route I believe the game should have taken. Meaningful movements, meaningful extractions, a less forgiving version of the battle royale genre with modern weapons. I feel like there's such a slot for this kind of game. You choose your loadout, go grab items, extract, and then if you die, you lose all your stuff. So then you've got to purchase more. With a good extraction style game mode, your stuff is important to you. In this, again, it really doesn't matter. I feel like they should make it slightly more hardcore than let's say Ring of Elysium and slightly less hardcore than something like Tarkov. At this point, I'm also going to assume that the game is probably a little bit too far in development for these changes to take place, but I think these changes are pretty much essential. Otherwise, the game just remains another generic shooter that couldn't capitalize on the current market opening. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. What do you guys think though? What types of things would you like to see in this game or what do you think would make it thrive? Let me know down below. I'm certainly okay with it being wrong and there's probably a high probability that I'm wrong. So if it does break out, I'm very happy for it. I always like to see indie projects thrive, but we'll just have to see. We don't know a release date yet, but thanks for stopping by. If you're still here, you're a true hero. Until the next one, be bold, be courageous, stay tactical. Yeah.